this first game is a $200 Hyper Turbo. So a uh, pretty standard raising seabed there, in my opinion. And I, I like barreling this turn here. And I make it 60 into a pot of 160. And I think that's because, in general, I don't think he has a king a lot. And he's going to have a lot of draws, a lot of 7x, some jacks, and a lot of gut shots as well, a lot of straight draws. And I think by betting 60 again, I am setting up for a nice size overbet shove on the river, on a lot of good rivers. And I think this is one of them. I think I can, he pretty much never has a king here. So even even when he does have, it's really hard for him to call it to almost twice the pot size shove because we are having so much strength here and it's the first hand and I think he we are only getting calling mostly here by a jack and it works so nice he limped now and flopped top pair I guess we, uh, it's a pretty standard bet there we, we gotta take the lead in the hand since he limped and right now the the idea was to bet bet shove and especially because we took down the last pot it's more likely that he calls down with any nine and eight also we are charging the straight draws that he might have but on this turn I think we, st we still have to bet there's a lot of draws too and even though that can be kind of exploitable to be betting folds in this I think that he's gonna have a lot of king axes that call the flop because we'll, it will generate like 30 chips to call so he probably calls most of his king axes that he limped and he's gonna have some flushes sometimes and gonna have turn two pair some and maybe some slow plate something and I think this is a close a close decision but I think forward is better here even though that might seem very exploitable to do so. Folding like, I don't know if you can say the top of our hand, but a really strong hand. But it's just that turn is really bad for our hand. So now I'm trying limp him, him. Let's see if he allows it. It's good to find out if he will let you do that, especially for the higher levels. He, he didn't seem to fight back a, a lot, I mean, on these first six hands. So, one thing that I want you guys to pay attention as well, that I, I will be doing, is note taking. I think it's very important, especially when, when you see something that isn't standard at all, when you see your opponent making a play that I think it's very important to keep track of those things. Right now I spent, I think, one third of the pot. I think that's pretty standard on that such dry board there. It's more likely that he check raises some air. And I limp again because he didn't seem to isolate limps a lot. And a standard seabed here. He seems pretty passive at the moment. And one thing that I I would like to you guys to pay attention here I, that I didn't talk before is my HUD. And the lower st stats are pretty obvious, I guess. Here we have three bad percentage, four to three bad, check off flop, check raise flop, C bad flop, and four to turn C bad. And obviously here we have hands on the first row and these are his raise preflop, call from B blind, and limp percentage. I think that's, I like to have a simple HUD, and I think those are the most important stats in general to have. It gives you a, a nice idea without being too complicated. <laughs> 